In the 23rd century, the Jovian planetary system is home to many thousands of people spread across the largest of Jupiter's numerous moons. The so-called Galilean moons of Ganymede, Europa, Callisto and Io represent some of the most advanced human settlements in the outer planets and play a critical role in the economy and infrastructure of the region. Smallest of the Galilean satellites, but still the sixth largest moon in the solar system, Europa is home to a sizeable settlement which supplies much of the belt with beef and vegetables. The colony's agricultural facilities are second only to Ganymede's, and the station makes use of greenhouse domes and orbital mirrors in much the same way as the larger moon, though on a smaller scale. Europa's crust is largely comprised of ice, and the surface hides subterranean saltwater oceans in some regions, a fact that provided more than sufficient incentive for human colonization and continues to contribute to the economy of the outer planets. Io is the innermost of the Galilean moons, and almost as large as Earth's moon, Luna. The human settlements established on Io are mostly industrial or scientific in nature, with the moon playing host to several manufacturing facilities which supply power cells to the belt. Io's population fluctuates heavily as the demand for workers rises and falls, but the number of settlers has never grown higher than 10,000, and a substantial portion of the satellite's inhabitants are employees of large Earth or Mars-based corporations, working at various various research and development facilities across the moon. Io's surface is viciously hostile, featuring over 400 active volcanoes and vast quantities of sulphur dioxide, forcing any human settlements to be constructed deep underground so as to ensure their safety. The second largest of Jupiter's moons, Callisto, is home to a large MCRN shipyard whose manufacturing facilities produce many of the warships in use by the Martian Navy, as well as contributing to many of the MCRN's classified weapons research projects such as their stealth vessel initiative. Callisto itself features more impact craters than any other object in the solar system, and as a result, the moon's surface is jagged and uncooperative, making the construction of human settlements extremely difficult. Beyond the Martian military facilities, Callisto houses a moderate number of civilian settlers, most of whom are involved in the moon's extensive mining industry, either as workers in the mines themselves or as administrative staff for the various mining corporations. The largest moon in the solar system and the site of easily the most well-known human settlement in Jupiter's orbit, Ganymede, is the only satellite in the system with a naturally occurring magnetosphere, and this feature provides the moon with a unique resistance to Jupiter's harsh radiation belt. As a result, Ganymede is extremely well suited for crop cultivation using orbital mirrors and large agricultural domes, affording the moon a reputation as the so-called breadbasket of the outer planets. Ganymede was also known to have the lowest number of birth defects effects among settlements of the outer solar system, and as a result, large numbers of women choose to travel to Ganymede to deliver their children. This, coupled with the relatively large number of working positions available at the colony, have made Ganymede Station into one of the most highly populated and prosperous settlements in the outer planets.